Hi guys, welcome back to a new section of Java tutorial. In this part, we are going to learn about interfaces in Java. An interface are same like classes in Java, except that it contain only abstract methods. And abstract methods are nothing but methods uh, which have no method body. Here is an example for abstract method. Here you can see that a method named display is present here. You, you also see that there is a semicolon is the, the display method is entered with the semicolon that means uh, it is uh, considered as a statement in Java. There is no method body. Such methods are called abstract methods in Java. We already know that there is no multiple inheritance available in Java but by using the interfaces it provides the same effects of multiple having multiple inheritance in Java. All the variables declare inside an interface are final and static. That means uh, you cannot change the value of uh, a variable declare inside an interface in an interface in Java. Uh, here is the general form of declaring an interface. First, you need to specify an access specifier here, and here is the keyword called the interface. This is actually a keyword, and finally, you have to specify a uh, valid identifier as interface name. Here is the abstract methods. First one is you need to specify the return type for that method. Here is the method name and of course you need to specify the parameter list of that method. Here is the second method and you can specify any number of methods. Here uh, I specify methods 1, 2, up to n. That means you can specify any number of methods in an interface but keep remember that all that methods are abstract methods that means all that methods does not contain any body it is not possible to create an object for an interface I already say that an interface is same like an a class in Java but you can create object for classes in Java but Interface it is not possible to create an object for interface. That means an interface cannot be instantiated. Here is a simple example that demonstrating an interface. Here I just declare an interface name called break, and that interface contains two abstract methods, drum break and power break. You can you can see that these two methods does not have any body and these two methods is ending with a semicolon. These methods are called abstract methods in Java. One or more class can implement an interface. That means in the same program itself if there is multiple classes all that classes can implement the same interfaces. Here is an example of a complete example of an interface. Here a class named school bus implements that interface break and that class implements those two abstract methods present in that interface. First one is the drum break. Here, here I just specify a body of that interface. Sorry, body of that abstract method. And here is the second abstract method present in that interface. And here is the body of the second interface method. If a class implements an interface, that class must implement all the methods, all the abstract methods in that interface. If an interface contains three abstract methods, then if any of any class implements that interface, must implement all the three interface, all the three abstract methods of that interface. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. In the next part, we are going to learn more about interfaces in Java with a complete working example. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.